Welcome back to another tip of the week with Adriana Cerdeira and today the tip goes to PHP students. So for you to test your PHP code online. Okay, so one of the biggest difficulties in my opinion when you want to learn PHP is that uh, to test PHP code you need a server because PHP is a server as a server side language. So you need a server. So you need to install a virtual server in your in your computer. But let's say you're learning PHP and you're using your lunch hour to learn PHP, or maybe you're using your com commute to learn PHP and you have your tablet and stuff like that. And so uh, you're learning on a tablet or you're learning on a company computer and you're not allowed, you can't have a virtual server in one of those devices. There's a way to get around that. There are websites where you can test your PHP code, meaning you won't need to have installed in your computer a virtual server, okay? So you don't get uh, locked into your computer, into your own computer, into being able to watch the classes and practice PHP only when you're on your own computer. So I'm going to show you a few of these websites. And I know no serious coder is coding on a tablet, <laughs> okay? <laughs> because it's super hard to code on a tablet. But the fact is, that maybe you want to be a serious coder, but you have to study at whenever you have time. So maybe when you have time is there when you are only with your tablet. So you want to, even if that's going to be harder for you, you want to be able to do that. And with these websites, you're going to be able to do that. So I'm going to show you uh, three websites. I actually had four, but one of them is uh, offline. and has been offline as of late. The link is runphponline.com because I like I like that. I thought it was a really good tester, but unfortunately I'm not going to be able to show you that one <laughs> because hasn't been online lately. Maybe they'll come back, so that's why why I want to show you. One of the ones I like a lot is this PHP uh, sandbox from onlinephpfunctions.com is a sandbox here. You have a box to write your PHP. You see that I already wrote something, but I'm going to do something different here. I'm going to say hello. And you have here, you write your PHP in this box and I'm doing something simple. You can choose the version of PHP you want to test. You can choose how the output shows. Okay. You can choose text, box and raw and you click here and execute code and your result comes down here. I'm going to show you the raw just so you see execute code and here and text box a little bit nicer. <laughs> okay. But you can use the raw too. And the nice things they have too, is that they have a lot of explanations about PHP functions and stuff like that. So they're, this website is great because of that too. Then you have this write code online, which honestly I like more than the other one. The other one has a lot of information, but because they have a lot of information gets polluted. <laughs> okay. Gets polluted, gets my PHP here. This one lets me focus on my PHP and only on my PHP here. Okay. So here again, I write my PHP here and I run the code and down here I have my result and you can see that I don't have a lot of information taking away from my PHP. I like that. I, I find that very useful and they have a few functions here like PHP beautifier, which can be useful. Let's say you're writing code and you want this to be indented properly and stuff like that. And you can just paste the code here, beautify code, then copy again. So that's, interesting though if you're using an id a lot of ids already have the beautify option and then the indent okay i like this one because this is very simple but this doesn't allow me to choose a version they tell you the version here okay php version 7.3 php tester done it is also simple and allows me to write the code here click to test your php code and here you have, so you're not getting a lot of extra information that's going to detract from your code. It's very simple. I have two very nice large windows to see one for the code and one for the result. And I can change 
versions. No, I can change a lot of versions. I can have three options of versions, but I can change the versions. I think between one and the other, this is mostly your taste, okay? <laughs> because like I said, uh, this one allows me to not have a lot of detract from the code, this one too. But online PHP functions, on the other hand, has a lot of other information. Write code online also has information on the PHP functions. You can open them here and you get information of the, on the functions, which is also useful, but has less information than the other. So any one of these three can be very useful and can help you a lot if you're learning PHP and you want to learn on the go. <laughs> you want to learn where you are able to learn and don't, not, don't want to have to be stuck to where your computer is because that's where you were able to download XAMPP or download WAMP or virtual servers uh, for, for you to be able to test your PHP. That's why I think these sites are really good and, are, and can be really useful for people who are studying PHP. I hope this helped. Don't forget to subscribe. Don't forget to check out my courses on Udemy, okay? And I'll see you next week.